Hello, you guys. Um, hope it's nice in your neck of the woods. Today is quite hot. That's why I have my <laughs> window closed here. But today I come to you. We're going to make a really quick meatball recipe. So this is um, two pounds of ground beef. Got some ground beef here. We have some pork here. Usually I don't like pork, but he likes pork in his meatballs. Sometimes I add veal as well, all combined together. But today we're just doing pork and ground beef. We have garlic here. We have basil here. We have some parsley. I forgot to get fresh parsley, but I have the dry one in the fridge. I mean, in the cabinet. So we'll be using that. And these are the breadcrumbs I'm going to use. I'm going to grind these up in the Pioneer Woman grinder. Then I'm going to soak it in some milk. Actually, I could have probably just soaked it in some milk instead of even using the grinder. Let me see. Let's just do that right now. And it's just all going to do the same thing. So, yes. I figured, let me use cause these croutons because I'm trying to get off of bread. Not so much bread. So, this will be perfect to get the croutons out of the way. So, we're going to let that soak. And that is Italian um, seasoned crouton, so that will help me not to have to put so much seasoning in the meat. We have some onions here that I'm going to saute to the translucent, and then we have some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese here. Um, the bell pepper, I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to use the bell pepper today or not because this is not a meatloaf. So I don't know. I might not be using the bell pepper today, but I do like to add a little bit of French onion um, French's onion um, mustard just to give it a little bit more of a tang and I did let me show you I did add some a little bit of Worcestershire sauce just a tiny bit okay so now what we're going to do we're going to turn this on let this get hot and I'm going to saute the onions here and then um, we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients oh and I also have two eggs here and we're going to add the rest of the ingredients and get going, you guys. So stay tuned for more meatballs with Journey with Sugar. So the Instapot is on here. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to smash this to make sure that all of it is getting coated. Can you pass me that avocado oil, please, Mommy? All of it is getting coated here. Actually, do we have olive oil? Mm -hmm. Let me have the olive oil. So, the avocado oil. so make sure this gets really nice and smashed and coated they're getting softer so I'm just gonna let that just sit and now we're gonna take some of this Trader Joe's olive oil put this in the pan and you guys I have fallen so in love with this and I'm just gonna make sure that all of this is covered and then we're going to let this get hot and then I'm going to add the onions once it starts sizzling so yes this is getting softer Mom, you have a little bit more milk. I might even have to add a little bit more milk. And I add extra milk to my meatballs anyway, so. This is perfect. I might have to grind it up in that little grinder just to get it a nice grind. In this Pioneer Woman food chopper. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to add a little bit more milk to this. There we go. Oops. And as you can see, there's seasoning already in this so just gonna smash that make sure all that is smashed let that soak and then we'll blend it in there just to make sure we blend it really really good okay you guys so yes this is getting hot once it starts getting really hot ooh, i love how hot this gets it's working okay and then i'll let you know once i put the onions in okay so stay tuned okay you guys so i just put the onions in I'm going to let this get nice and saute, and then I'll set these to a side, and then um, start getting the meat ready. So in the meantime, while we're getting that done, I'm going to come over here. I've already added some pepper and some salt to this. So now what I'm going to do is add all of the rest of the ingredients. Mike, can you come help me with this? Okay, I want to add this pork in here. Make sure that gets nice and blended well. Okay. Bring that all together. And this is 80-20 meat. I'm going to break that pork up. 
And once you put the other ingredients in, it's going to break up even more. Let me stir this. Because we just want the onions just to get translucent. We don't want the onions to get brown. We just want them to get nicely translucent, okay? So now, hold this for me. I'm going to add just a little bit of this pink salt from Trader Joe's. I hope you can see that. Can you see that? There we go. It's the Himalayan pink salt. Okay, you guys? I'm going to add some parsley in here. And I didn't have fresh parsley, but dry parsley will do. Okay, make sure we get some down here. Okay, and let me just stir this. Let me just stir this. It's coming together nicely. And then we're going to add in garlic. And that's fresh garlic, you guys. So I'm going to have to really make sure that this gets in there. All the way. That's garlic. We have some fresh cut up basil here. And I like to stir it around first to make sure it gets even. Make sure all of this gets in there and break up that garlic. There we go. Make sure that parsley gets in there. I'm gonna put, I mean basil. I'm gonna put, and this is organic basil. Off oh, those onion smell. Those onions smell so good. A little bit longer, maybe about two more minutes. Just a little bit of crunchies because it really does help give this a nice tang. Just wipe this around really quick. Add the crunchies. I usually do this with my meatballs, and I just love the flavor that it gives. And I'm just spilling meat everywhere, y'all. <laughs> okay, now, what we're gonna do, hold on. These onions are ready. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the onions out. Okay, let me get the rest of these onions out, you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, now I'm going to finish adding this, the breadcrumbs to this. And this is the breadcrumbs with the milk included. I wanted to get a little bit more finer. And then we're just going to wipe around here. Put this on. nice and grind it. Um, and just to let you know this is the pioneer woman little food processor here and I think that's about it little food processor here I think there we go and that's what I want okay so I'm gonna add that to this let me get the cheese in Ma can you come help me right quick yeah this is the Parmesan Reggiano and what I like to do is put the cheese in and then mix it okay and what we like to do is put the cheese in and make sure that it's evenly distributed we want to use this go down to the bottom and pull to the top okay i'm going to add more cheese Y'all forgive me for chewing this gum, <laughs> but it keeps me going. Okay, now we're going to add these onions, and I like to add the onions when they're a little warm before I add the eggs, because we don't want to cook 
the um and then i'm gonna leave some of these onions out just to put in the sauce okay because these are a little warm still and we don't want to cook the eggs so we're just gonna make sure that's added there we go add a little bit more of the parmesan reggiano cheese the last bit of it add this over here put this to a side Gonna add a little bit more parsley here mix that as well mm, yummy yummy I like it's gonna be good yes it's gonna be delicious okay I'm gonna remove this gotta be real safe because this thing is sharp yes. Okay, I'll let that sit in there and whatever comes out, I'll let that use it. So we're going to add, I'll do it with this measuring spoon, add the bread with the milk. And this smells so good because it is already has Italian seasoning in it, you guys. So it is absolutely, oh. It smells wonderful. Okay. Make sure we're not having a mess here. You guys, this is really quick and easy. Now we're going to just add that bread. I didn't have gloves today. So I'm just, I'm, just, I'm going to roll it in my hands though. So, but I wanted to mix it. Make sure that it's nice and smooth. And mix it all together. There we go. Looks good to me. And so I have this ice cream scooper here. I'm just going to bring it over to the side, take that off, and then I'm just going to roll. And that's one meatball okay you guys forgot to mention you do want to put olive oil on your hand when you're rolling so it doesn't stick oh that's way too much girl but I have some here and I'm just gonna put this roll it in my hand like this and then I'm gonna and this will help your um, rolling okay so we have that Okay, perfect. All right, so let me just get a few in here. Let them see the plate. Those are the two that I have so far. Let them see me do this again. This is the third one. Bam! Get it here. And it's so much help to have that olive oil on your hand. Let me finish all of these, rolling all of these meatballs to look like that, and then I will show you guys the finished product. Okay, you guys, so I just got finished rolling up all of my meatballs here, and that's how beautiful they are. And I added the olive oil and a little bit of, I mean avocado oil and a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Reason why is because avocado oil has a longer heat um, it can last a little longer and not get burnt so fast. So I'm trying to fill that in there so that we can get an evenly browning on all of the meatballs here. And then I'll take those out, add the sauce, and then put it back in. Add this little bit of onion, y'all. <laughs> she didn't get enough onion. But today, this is just to show you how good this machine works for meatballs. Um, and then seal it and let it cook. I think I'm going to do it for about 10 minutes today because these are a little bigger meatballs and I want to make sure that they cook thoroughly. Okay, I've seen some people do four minutes, some people do six minutes. I'm going to do it for 10 minutes. Um, it's kind of, <laughs> I have to get used to the fact that this cooks so quickly. The other day when I did chili, which was yesterday, you guys, so funny. I was going to put it on for 45 minutes and 
I just felt like you need to go make sure looked and a lot of people were just doing it for seven minutes and I did that and it came out perfect so what we're gonna do is um saute these get them browned after we're done remove them put the sauce or just add the sauce to it and then um, let it cook and seal it up for 10 minutes okay you guys so stay tuned it is getting hot that is sauce that I'm going to use tonight is ragu you guys yes she's cutting corners <laughs> ragu hopefully two is enough we'll see because that's all the tomato sauce I have tonight so hopefully two is enough okay you guys so once this gets nice and browned you guys stay tuned I'll let you see the finishing browning okay you guys so this is the meatballs I turned them over and that is what they look like brown now I am a little concerned because the meatballs do stick even if you do put enough oil it still sticks because of the type of um, pan this is so I'm going to finish the rest of these out just to brown them on my cast iron to get it done really quick because I don't have all day to sit here and brown them and like not make them stick because you have to wait until they can get movable and I don't want it to burn so what I'm going to do is just let these get browned over by um, use my cast iron bring it back over to here and I'll let them finish cooking in the instapot um, for about 10 minutes okay you guys so stay tuned but it did pretty good if you have all day to sit there and flip them I don't <laughs> so right now you guys I'm adding the sauce okay hopefully this is enough mixing that in there and then I'm gonna add these little bit of onions that I have here in there okay you guys so I'm gonna start adding the meatballs in here and let them finish off and here they brown so well mmm smells so good and then I'm gonna add them to this crock pot and make sure they're all covered put it on for 10 minutes okay you guys okay you guys so I'm about to close it up I'm gonna seal this put it on sealing and then I'm going to put it on manual so I believe I turn it off then put it on manual and then I'm going to put it cook it for I'm gonna say 12 minutes y'all because I'm nervous because it's pork in there and just let it do its thing and then I'll let you guys see the finished product once it is done okay you guys so it says one more minute it's got a little steam going there and I'm gonna put it on the um, venting I'm gonna turn that over so that all of that, but we have one more minute. I can hear it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the release. I hope I did this right. I don't know, that little thing didn't come up. So I'm just gonna let this sit. There we go. I'm just gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. Then I'll open it and we'll see the finished product. Okay, you guys, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, just twisted it. I've been waiting. It's not steam coming up. Oh, all right. <laughs> so we're gonna see. Ooh, look at that. Looks wonderful. Okay, you guys, so let's get a sandwich assembled and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it. And the meatballs held up pretty nicely. Very good. So we're gonna cut this Kaiser roll here. And then we're going to make, I'm gonna make my son a sandwich. So you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna okay, you guys, so this is the consistency of the meatball. Oh. I'm so proud of it. Mommy just tasted it. She loved it. Mommy, can you bring me a piece of wet paper towel? 
This is Joshua sandwich. I'm going to add a little bit more sauce on top of that for him. He does not like cheese, like I said, and he is quite strange. But we're going to wipe. Josh, I'm going to wipe this around the edge here just so it can look neater. And that is delicious meatball sandwich. Absolutely delicious. I want you guys to see the consistency of it in the light. So it is thoroughly through. So you see all that heat. I'm gonna just let you see me break it. Look how it just breaks. Look at it completely done. I hope you guys enjoyed this meatball in the Pioneer Woman Instant Pot. It is absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment and also please hit that subscribe button. And thank you for so much for tuning in and watching me prepare this meal. You guys be blessed and I'll see you soon. Remember, trust God, keep him first, and he'll always lead you in the right direction. God bless.